Hi guys, welcome back to the Backyard Rush channel. It's great to have you with us as always. And if you're tuning in for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. We show you what Russia is like through the eyes of an Australian family. So yeah, today we're going to be going to a couple of shops around here and comparing prices, quality, and uh, just what the product range is like so that you will know which is the best shop to go to, what's cheapest, um, and all that kind of thing for when and if you find yourself here in Russia. So let's go. Okay, so today we're going to be showing you what shops are like here in Russia, particularly the small grocery stores that most people would shop at. Um, there's 15 of them within 20 minute walking distance of our house and um, there's four main uh, names, four main companies, Yajcha, Pichorochka, Maria Ra and Magnit. Yeah, so we hope you enjoy coming along with us. Actually right here where we are, we can see three of them from where I'm standing. So. We've got Yaicha, which is where I'm standing right now. And then down there we have Marira and Pichorchka. And they are all <laughs> visible right from where I'm standing right here. As you can see, it's open from 8 to 10. Chips. And kefir. Kefir. So this is a pretty common brand, so we'll probably just go over with this. Pasteurized milk. What have we got? 930 mil. It's uh, 74 rubles 98. What have we got? Apples. Uh, red apples. Golden. 129 rubles a kilo. They have two varieties of potatoes. These ones here are red ones. 50 rubles a kilo. And then we've got those white ones over there. 30 rubles a kilo. Cabbage. 60 rubles a kilo. So as far as Yacha goes, this is uh, a fairly nice one. We're just in the meat section here, so we'll have a look at a few meat prices. Okay, so we have which compressed 249 rubles a kilo. X C0. Not particularly awesome. So here we have bread, you've got your normal pastries and stuff, and over here we have Lepioshka, which is what we normally buy. We usually get Lepioshka, we like it, we don't buy it often, we usually make our bread, but 77, hang on a second, which one's which? Ah, uh, good, $20.99. 20 rubles rather. Okay, so this is the tea range. They have some Lipton, Curtis, Tess, Greenfield, a couple other ones that I've not heard of before, but I recognize the look of them. And down here it says that there's an action, oh, Axia, it's like a special. Uh, 42 rubles 99 for a 25 pack. We need pasta for making spaghetti. Which pasta? pasta looks good? That pasta looks good? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we've got pasta here. This is uh, spaghetti. Cardinal. Mark Makfa. Yeah. Other kind of different types of pasta. Kind of the full range. You've got your macaroni. Shells. Bakushki and uh, these ones we call it penny pasta. 
Lots of different range. Lots of different brands. Pretty good. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna take the price for this one. This is 500 grams. Yep. So we're gonna get 54 rubles, 98. Little bossy. <laughs> we're gonna go and to the next one. So we've got oats and rice here as well. All right. What's in here? Ice cream. Marojne. Okay, this is the stuff we usually get. If we get some, it's 142 rubles. Here we are, we have sugar here. Pretty common, 70 rubles a kilo. Oh, 69.98. And then, they only have the one brand of sugar. Oh, you can buy this stuff as well. It's in cube form. 82 rubles for five. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, so that's quite a small shop. We didn't actually find kvass there and there was no pork. They only sold chicken. So we couldn't get those prices there. But for most of your basic needs, you can buy everything here. So we're just going to go over to Maria Ra and Pichurchka now. Slippery slope or rocky. <laughs> Okay, so literally within like three minutes walking distance of each other is these three grocery stores and so or supermarkets. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how everything all compares together. We've never actually really done this before because growing up in Australia, we kind of had the assumption that the big stores are the cheap ones and the smaller ones are, uh, you know, they might have more different products that you can't normally get at the uh, big stores, but in general they're more expensive. A little bit like IGA, I suppose, these stores would be. So now we're going into Maria Ra. Okay, and this place is open from 8 to 11. Ready? We have fruit and veggies section. Have some red apples here. They don't have the same ones. As you can see, these apples are a bit cheaper, especially the green ones. Okay, and so here we are at the frozen section. Different meats and stuff. We have a fillet of chicken, 271.90. It's uh, not too bad a price, I guess. This is skinless. And these are the eggs that we normally get, so this would be a good idea. C1, we usually get C0. So this is pretty interesting. Here they actually sell the eggs one at a time. You can buy them individually. So you can buy them for 7 rubles and 10 cent, uh, it's 10 kopeck. So here we have yogurts and milk products, stuff like that. And we have sixty nine rubles and ninety cup here. Okay, so here we have the coffee and tea section. 
and it is pretty big range. So here we are, we have the Nescafe Gold Barista, 139 rubles 90 kopeck for 75 grams in that case. And then we have over here all the teas. Here we are, black tea. Ceylon, Chorni Chai, 25 pack, 46, 90 rubles. Okay, so it seems that Maria Ra has much better range at the moment. Um, so we've got a lot more range, a lot more choice as far as what type of sugar. So you can buy in this 2 kilo bag or in these kilo ones, which is 51 rubles and 90 kopeck. So when we were at Yaicha, we didn't actually find any kvass, so that was interesting. Anyway, we have found some here. And this Blogger Day stuff, which is actually nice, 60 rubles for 1 litre. Oh, 1.5 litres. And here we have oil, one liter, 114 rubles and 90 cents, or 90 kopeck. So here they have only the one variety of potatoes, just this red variety, and it's 37 rubles and 90 kopeck. Oh, unless you want washed ones, one and a half kilos for these ones on the right here, 80 rubles, or for one kilo of these small washed ones, 60 rubles. Cabbage at 68 rubles and 20 kopeck. So here we are, we have... Wishy Suat. 68 rubles and 40 cents. Oh. Yeah? Donuts? Yeah. Yeah. This is the kind of bread a lot of people buy. We obviously don't buy bread, but you can get it for 16 rubles and 70 kopeck for a 600 gram loaf. Okay, so we're in the Georgia now. And here we have white potatoes, 39 rubles kilo. 5 uh, kilo, 55 rubles kilo for those ones. Tomatoes, 149. Sixty-seven rubles and ninety-nine kopeck a kilo for cabbage. So here we are. We have apples. And these Granny Smiths are the cheapest we've seen yet. Although they, they do look a little bit better. No, no, some of them are pretty good. Eighty-nine rubles a kilo. And then these are the season apples. Ninety-nine rubles. You can get the seasoned, uh, the seasoned apples, like the ones that are grown here in Russia. They're usually fairly well priced and very tasty. Okay, over here we have chicken fillet, Sibaro. 900 grams, 279 rubles. Okay, carrying on. Here we have what looks like a very random sort of bits and pieces section, cutlery. <laughs> okay, moving through to the sugar. 
I haven't seen this before. Sakura with a corn nozzle. Sugar. Again, a pretty good range here. We've got baking soda up there as well. Okay, this sook, $51.99. Over here we have uh, number one brand oil, which we've been going with, and that is 124 rubles 99 a litre. Okay, so here's the spaghetti, 66 6 rubles 99. The bread section. Okay, and down here we have bread. Seventeen ninety-nine for six hundred gram loaf. But these ones are all cut. These are all sliced. Looks like you married. So 100 packets for 139. So that works out at what? 1390. Per 10. So here we are. We have Nescafe Gold. 144 rubles for a 75 gram packet. There's some range of eggs here, different brands. Okay, so they don't have ordinary Molokko from that brand. So here we have a lot of kind of house and different kind of things. Gloves, bags, cups, spoons. So babe, what's your favourite shop so far? I'm a Pichorichka fan. Pichorichka? Just seem to have a nice layout. Much bigger. Fruit and veg was pretty good. Mm. Reasonably priced. I think the potatoes might have been the cheapest yet. But uh, check. And uh, our little girl's gone to sleep while we're out. It's actually quite fun doing this kind of research. People look at you weird and say, What are you doing? And especially because we're filming for you guys. If you guys are enjoying this video, um, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. Um, <laughs> we get a lot of weird looks because we, obviously we have to film everything and they're kind of like, well, what are you doing? <sighs> we said we were comparing prices. They thought that was a bit strange. Anyway, things we do for you guys. Anyway. If you do appreciate it, let us know in the comments. Here we are at uh, Magnit, but over the road is Pichorichka, and the building opposite is Nana Maria Ra, and here we are, we have Magnit. And just over there on the corner is actually a yaicha, and that's where we used to get our milk. So, let us go and see what this store is like. Just over here is our ice hockey rink. 8.30 to 10.30. Finally found the fruit and veg. Canned products. Juices. Down here oranges. Red potatoes, 
41 rubles a kilo and white one's 30 pretty much like normal and I think these are the cheapest cabbages at 54 rubles a kilo but as you can see <laughs> not the nicest looking and 89 rubles a kilo for these golden apples they're pretty much the same as they were everywhere else and 109 rubles for these granny smiths red apples 114 rubles a kilo they look pretty good ones that aren't bruised so so far the uh, magnet store is probably my least favorite i don't think they're all like this day so here we are we have kavas And it is a 2 litre for 85 rubles. So that's pretty cheap kvass. I haven't actually tried that one, I don't think. Here we have Nescafe Gold, 259 rubles for the 75 grams. Yeah, it's 600, now well, this was 650 gram loaf and it is 39 rubles a kilo. We have chicken breast here, 300 rubles a kilo. Here we have an average range of tea. Considering they drink a lot of tea, it's actually not uh, that huge range. Nori. Jordan and Jay. Fifty six rubles for twenty five. Okay, so here we also have a fairly good range of sugar. You can get five kilos, but this one kilo stuff it's actually not super good. Like the packets often split open for these, but fifty one eighty nine a kilo. At the bottom there, then there's this stuff here, which we'll try and find the thing for that. Oh, look, here we are 80, but it has a higher fat content 3.4 to 4.5 percent, 930 mil. They don't actually have the brands that we buy here. Um, obviously, milk we don't buy uh, at the shop anyway, we get it from um, somebody who has their own cows. Uh, it's much better quality it is a bit more expensive but um, a lot better for you okay so we've got eggs over here ah here we are so these are a little bit more expensive okay here's our number one brand supposedly 25% off 199 rubles here we are we have um, spaghetti, not a huge range here, and I spoke too soon. Here we are, there's the rest of the pasta. So, as we can see, they do have a little bit of a range. Here we are, we've got the same as what everybody else had 76 rubles and 99 kopecks. Okay, so. Magnet behind me, we are going to head to the Pachorchka near where we live. It's one of the newest ones and uh, we have a few things that we need to buy. So we'll get them there. Okay, here we are. Pachorchka, not far from our place. We're in the car, not because we couldn't walk, but because we went to a lot of them today. But this is a basically brand new shop, isn't it, babe? Yep, it is. But it's a shop I prefer normally frequent the most. So it's brand new. Mm -hmm. I think it got finished end of last year. Mm -hmm. And it has, well, it's still actually not finished. This glass section at the front, they're still building that. Uh, it's got a KFC drive through which is not something that was very common until the last couple of years. It's got an Apatiaka. It's got 
Chemist, obviously Bottle Shop, which is like a dime a dozen. There's this million, well, there's heaps of them around. Uh, it's got a bakery, flower a butcher, shop. yeah, flower shop. And it's got a pet shop, flower and a sushi shop. Pet food. And a cleaning product shop. Sushi, cleaning products, house products, uh, all kinds of stuff in there. Actually, just over the road, over there, is the other Yaicha. And that was built probably, I don't know, a year ago? Yeah, about a year ago. So these are all new. New church, new shops, big tower, new shop. This whole area has just grown so quick. Anyway, we're gonna go in the shops now and uh, see you there. There they are. Some bananas. A little bit more expensive, but nicer than some of the other ones we've seen today. Only two rubles more. Apples, reasonably similar price. Slightly bigger range. Just getting some apples for the children. 89 rubles for Granny Smiths. It's pretty good. Alright, let's go. So, we got these big unwashed potatoes here. 99 rubles a kilo. It's actually quite expensive. These tiny little purple ones, 55.99. Uh, well, in the purple bag, that is. And down here, we have these white ones, which look reasonable. Some of them are not so good, but 40 rubles a kilo. And 67 rubles a kilo for capusta or cabbage. It's a big one, looks pretty good. Looking for chips. Chippies? Chippies? So we stopped at the cheese section because this is my wife's kind of weakness. It's good as chocolate. It's good as chocolate. Yeah. We forgot our bags. Shopping bags and so the children are helping to carry the shopping. Big helper. All right, so we've been to all the stores and we have come up with a verdict as to which one's the best one. But before we do that, we just wanted to say a big thank you for watching this video. Uh, we know it's been a longer one and we really appreciate your support. If you would like to support the channel in other ways, you can find links down in the description or you can become a Backyard Russia Insider, insider which uh, gives you access to exclusive, exclusive videos and content. Videos and um, first uh, dibs at merchandise when it arrives and any other kind of uh, things that we have going on behind the scenes of Backyard Russia. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get into the... Um, round up, final score. <laughs> yeah. So coming in as the best overall shop was Yaicha. It had the best uh, price, quality. price quality overall. It did have a limited range though, which was its major letdown, letdown really. Um, that means that quite often you'll go there and it just doesn't have what you're after, what you're after or they've run out. Um, next was Pichorichka coming in second with best overall range to quality, uh, range and quality. They carried a large range of everything. Uh, quite a good selection, good quality, especially in the fruit and veg section. But they are a little bit more on the expensive side, although not. But that's to do with fruit and veg. When it comes to dry goods, Magnet was the most expensive uh, as far as dry goods. But they also had, they come in last on our list as far as we're concerned. They had the lowest kind of average quality, price, everything. Um, you know, the price wasn't so good, the 
quality was average and uh, variety was a little bit below average probably I'd say around Yaichu kind of level and if you want just a kind of a average sort of shop that has a good range a decent level of uh, um, what do you call it where to lift so it's got a decent range and a decent quality um, but it doesn't cost too much then you would go with Maria Ra because they tend to carry a decent range have pretty good quality but their price is a bit better than Pachurichka although it really depends from store to store though yeah that was the thing we found out because I did go to a couple of the other stores and like the prices vary between them layout changes quality changes like the stock's not all the same so yeah it really comes down to what's in your area but we were we would love to hear from you guys which one you thought was the best uh out of the ones we went to or even what's your experience with the ones near you what do you where do you shop and why so yeah thanks for watching um we look forward to seeing you again but till then take care Bye-bye.